I just unboxed Wago's new 750-8212-000-100 PFC Generation 2 controller with BACnet support. This thing's really neat. It supports not only BACnet, but also Modbus and Ethernet IP as an adapter. So this could serve as a pretty neat gateway between all those protocols, as well as processing logic and has the Docker functionality because it's a Generation 2 controller. In this video, I'm going to set this up. We're going to create some simple BACnet objects using the Wago BACnet configurator, incorporate that into an e-cockpit project, and see what we can find. Let's get started. Navigate to wago.com and use the search tab to search BACnet. What we're looking for is the BACnet configurator. You'll register for a download and once you receive that you'll have an install file. Unzip the BACnet configurator install to your desktop and run the .exe install file. Once this is installed, we'll open the BACnet configurator. This will scan our network for any BACnet devices. Once we find that device, right click and click configure. Next we're going to select the device again, right click and add an object. In this case we're going to add an analog value. This is going to be the temperature value we receive back from the PLC, so we'll call this PLC temperature F. When we make this full screen you'll see there's an e-cockpit export field. We want to make sure we select small. We'll add another value to this. We're going to right click again on the device, add an object, and we're going to add analog output. This is going to be the value that we read back into the PLC from the BACnet network. We're going to call this PLC return val, and again, we'll export this as a small value. We're going to store and download this to the controller, and then we're going to export the e-cockpit objects. Select the file name. I'm just doing this to the desktop, and we'll click Save. Now we'll open the eCockpit project. I've already got one open with my devices here. I'm going to double click and I'm just going to select my first thermocouple channel and I'm going to name this ITC RAW1. Now I'm going to go to the PLC PRG and this is just a simple demo program. So we're going to convert this temperature to a real value in Fahrenheit. So we'll have R temp F tag and we'll just write a quick formula to convert the thermocouple signal into a temperature F in a real or floating point type value. Once we have this value, we're going to map this to our BACnet network. We're going to actually map this to our analog value tag. Now I haven't yet imported my BACnet objects, so I can't find them in the input assistant. So now we'll have to go back out to file and we'll use the import export. We're just going to import this object that we created in our BACnet configurator. We're going to import it into our application. We'll just select all. Now if we go back to the project, you can see my objects there. So now in my PLC PRG, if I use my input assistant F2, I can navigate to my analog value, which is uh, PLC temperature F, and I want to set the present value equal to the temperature F. Now we're going to do the same in reverse. We're going to read back this return value from the PLC. So I want my return value to be equal to the analog output object present value. Uh, I don't have a tag created so I'm going to get an error but if I enter through it will automatically create my tag. Now I can compile and go online with the controller. We'll download the project and once we put it into run we're already mapping values to the BACnet network. I'm testing this with a tool called OBACnetMaster, and I'm just going to look for my analog value. I'm going to use my ID of zero, and I'm going to read this. And you can see now I'm getting my thermocouple, or my temperature Fahrenheit data from my uh, PLC. Now I'm going to select analog output. I'll leave my data the same. I have to read this once, but then I can write the values back into the controller. And you can see there we're getting the value back into the PLC program. If I do it again, I'll use a couple of decimals of re resolution. 123.45 and you can see I get the data exactly in the PLC. So you see it only took us a couple of minutes to get BACnet working on the controller. You can pair this with other videos I've done in the past with Modbus or Ethernet IP to create some kind of BACnet gateway or some other logic device. So um, please post your questions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Mm -hmm.